Hello guys, welcome to Funch. In today's tutorial, we will be designing this attractive Web3 lending web page. This tutorial is part of the series for the crypto app CoinWave, where we designed a mobile app and a desktop login page in our previous tutorials. If you haven't checked them out, make sure to go to our channel and check them out as well. This tutorial is a little different, where we will design a landing page for CoinWave, so let's not waste any more time and let's start designing. Okay, so let's get started with this project. What you want to do first is you want to import the resources that we will provide in the video description. So make sure to copy them and just paste them into your Figma file. I'm just going to paste them right here. We got some logos, we got some fonts that we're going to be using, we got some mock ups that we're going to be using as well. We have a background SVG here that I generated from a very useful tool. I will link it in the description so you can generate your own backgrounds. Uh, I also have some colors right here that we're going to be using across the design. So let's uh, start designing. Let's uh, select a frame here, click F and let's select a desktop frame. Okay, let's go. Let's name this file Crypto Landing Web Page Web webs, Website. Okay, that can work for now. Okay, let's give this uh, desktop this background from the beginning. So just copy it and just paste it here and just make sure it's centered it, it has the background color of, of one two one two one two so a very smooth background color and what can you can do from the beginning you can just select it here this is your desktop frame right so you can just select it here and you can just lock it so whenever you navigate through your frame you're not accidentally moving it or touching it so if you unlock it you can actually move it around so just lock it to make sure it's uh, static right there okay so let's uh, design the navigation at the top first so click F let's uh, create a frame of 64 height and let's span it all the way across let's name this uh, navigation here let's pick up our logo copy it and just paste it here and it's not uh, showing up for some reason let's see why hmm. weird let's see again well it's not popping up for some reason i really don't know why Oh yeah, we have this sprinkle above our navigation, so make sure it's below it, yeah. There we go, the sprinkle is like the background that's named sprinkle. Good, okay, let's put up a layout grid right here. So we want uh, columns, we want 12 of them. Let's select a better color for the columns, there we go. Want a gather of 24 pixels and a margin of 48 there we go let's align our logo on the grid perfect let's center it okay it's center already that's good uh, we can disable the grid for now so hold uh, Control shift 4 to disable it to disable our all, all grids actually uh, so let's start designing the navigation links so let's type here explore we're going to be using Seagull UI, Seagull UI. Okay, put it 16 pixels here. Make sure the height is auto. So, explore, learn, trade, community and nfts good okay so now select all your 
text links and center them and just distribute horizontal spacing and add a 48 pixels of spacing between them and make sure to center them text align center there we go okay so now let's just uh, select them all and just group them and make sure to align them at the center of your navigation perfect okay let's create our button here let's pop up the grid so Control shift 4 to activate it let's right up here get started good now we're gonna use auto layout to speed up uh, work so uh, click shift A to create a la uh, auto layout around your component so let's add 4 pixels from uh, spacing from the top and bottom and let's add 16 pixels from the left and right so let's see how this looks so let's give it a fill let's uh, put a one two one two one two here color for the button text uh, let's give it a fill of white four pixels border radius here uh, let's place it right on the grid good good that looks good let's copy this button one more time let's right here uh, sign in uh, let's uh, give the text a white color here and what you want to do now is you want to disable the fill so it's a uh, transparent and let's give it a spacing of uh, spacing of 12 pixels from the other button okay the only thing we're missing here is the line so select your frame and create a line here and make sure it goes all the way across your design all the way okay let's give it a nice color here select your line and Let's select this color here from the background. One, two, one, two, one, two. Well, let's experiment here a little bit until we find something nice. Something just a little bit lighter than the background, you know? Nothing too much. Okay, that looks good already. I think we can use that. And what do you want to do here? Um, okay, okay, yeah okay it looks good yeah okay let's continue so now we're going to be needing a headline so for headline we're going to be using seagull ui the same font and it's going to be 16 60 pixels so we can just copy this or you can just directly write up it in the design so we can write up smarter way to invest in crypto let's set it to 60 pixels here let's uh, align it to the left and we're going to be fixing up this line height line height because it's a little bit too much so let's give it a 120 percent mm, let's try 115 oops Mm, okay that looks good let's activate our layout grid Control shift 4 there we go uh, let's write up the text above it so this was start investing in your future today okay let's uh, select Roboto as our font family here uh, let's add 16 pixels here or you know what we can use seagull UI here as well oops let's just copy it and paste it here let's see how it looks yeah that looks pretty good we can go with this one okay now we're missing the logo icon so 
let's just copy it just paste it right here and we also need a right arrow so we can just use a plugin right click go to plugins if you don't have a have a feather icons you can just go find more icons and just write up feather icons very good icons I really love these so right arrow we're gonna need that here we go let's just scale it down okay let's just change the color for for stars let's just scale it down to 20 pixels and you can actually edit these and you can hold control and hold shift to select uh, both uh, vector lines and just let's uh, put 1.6 here so we can make it a little bit smaller there we go perfect actually it's not in the frame I just notice it I'm just gonna copy delete select the frame just paste it okay now it's in the frame perfect okay so let's uh, select all three of these align them and distribute horizontal spacing of eight pixels between them okay this sh this can go a little bit down yeah perfect so not uh, not always will elements uh, be aligned perfectly when you use uh, uh, the figma shortcuts here sometimes you need to give it uh, your own touch so make sure it looks uh, good to you before uh, deciding on to keep keep a component so let's just select three of them and group them align them to the grid and let's give it a, a 16 pixels spacing from the headline there we go okay let's write up the text here take your investment portfolio to the next level with coin wave next line uh, buy sell and trade the top cryptocurrencies currencies let's make sure this is written right with ease and confidence there we go let's just uh, line it right let's give it a spacing of uh, 16 pixels here maybe this can go 12 pixels yeah okay this yeah 12 pixels much better okay we can add a roboto here as a paragraph text and we can add a little bit more line height here let's go with uh, default okay so let's try 130 percent let's disable the grid for now control shift 4 let's try 140 Hmm, let's try 150 okay that should work fine okay so we can now add the colors to our text so this is a text headline color so just copy it select your headline just paste it right here and text body should be for the text there we go much better right now right okay let's copy this button here and just paste it and then take it into the frame we're gonna write here okay it's get sorry right already so that should be right let's give it uh, so we want this button to be a little bit distinguished so let's give it a, a top and bottom spacing of uh, 12 and uh, 32 from the sides so it's a little bit bigger let's try 16 maybe here top and bottom and 40 yeah that should do the trick and what we're going to do now is give it this primary green color just copy the color hex code and just give it this fill let's uh, give it a bolder 
let's try some vault here. Yeah, that's nice. Make sure it's on our grid right here. Select your elements, you can align them. Left, good. Let's give it a spacing of 24 pixels here. Let's disable the grid for now. Okay, and now you can select all your all your text and button here and group it. There we go. Good. And now we're missing the illustration right here. So let's get it. I mean the mockups, sorry. We're missing the mockups. Uh desktop, select your frame, paste it right here. Make sure it's on the grid, on the line grid here. So it looks better. Let's align these and let's give it our touch. Okay, let's disable the grid. We can make it maybe even a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. And let's place it on the grid here. Because you can see our text is placed on the second column, the beginning of the second column, and you want it to be at the end before this column. So there we go. That looks pretty good. Let's select both of these. Okay, let's tweak it a little bit more here. Uh, okay. You can actually put it a little bit on the left. Don't always have to follow the grid. Okay, that's so that looks good. So group it. So make sure to experiment a lot when you design this type of things. Like when you experiment is when you going to find the right thing that works for you. Okay, to to sixty nine. So we can. Pump it up to 60 from the text to the navigation. Okay, that looks good. Okay, the only thing we're missing here are the statistics on the bottom. So let's activate our grid again. Let's write them up uh, 4.4 billion. It should be 40 pixels, regular. Copy it again for 40 million. Make sure it's aligned on the left. And you can see the illustration is a little bit too big. So let's scale it down again one more time. Uh, let's center these. Group it, group them again. Okay, this should be good. Let's try to scale them up a little bit here. Okay, that's good. Disable the grid again. Okay, let's add our text right here. Total trading volume. Roboto. 16 pixels. Let's give it this body color and it should be four pixels. Spacing. Just sure to users who trust our exchange. Copy it one more time. Crypt. Oops. Crypto 
cryptocurrencies listed. Okay, that's good. Let's group these up. And want to place this before the ending column. So on, on this one, let's uh, now select the three of them, align them, and now we can we can actually distribute horizontal spacing here. So we give them even spacing, and now you can group them and give them a spacing to the bottom of 64 pixels. And now we can disable the grid. And there we go. We got us a finished website landing page. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found that educational. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe, leave a like and a comment, and we'll catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.